Panorama tomorrow reports from Buenos Aires on the Falklands crisis. And with sovereignty emerging as the crucial point, Panorama will ask islanders who've lived through the invasion where they believe their future now lies. That's Panorama tomorrow night at 10 past 8. Now the weather. Tomorrow any mist or fog patches will soon clear and most places will have a dry day with a good deal of sunshine. It will, however, start rather cloudy over some eastern, southern and central parts of England and although patches of cloud will persist in the east, there will be some sunshine as well. It will be a cold night tonight with a widespread ground frost, but it will become quite warm again tomorrow. And that's the weather. Two years to the day after Robert Mugabe's New Zimbabwe was born, a panorama special tonight reports on the progress of the young state and visits its original capital with Professor Ali Mazrui. When I came to Zimbabwe this year for the first time, it occurred to me this would be a suitable place to begin our story. Kenyan academic Professor Ali Mazrui goes searching for the New Zimbabwe in a panorama special tonight at 11.10. And before that, at 10.35, Libby Purvis presents Choices with the panel consisting of historian Paul Johnson, novelist Edward Blishen, and lecturer Valerie Fisher. And Phil Silvers as Sergeant Bilko at midnight brings Sunday evening to a close. So now the first of those programmes, Barry Norman with Omnibus. Good evening. Tonight on Omnibus we present a unique event, Leonard Bernstein's first meeting and first rehearsal with the BBC Symphony Orchestra. And for good measure we have something else unique, Mary Reynolds, author of such bestsellers as The Last of the Wine and The King Must Die, talking on film about her work and her life in South Africa. But first, Leonard Bernstein, who's both the composer of West Side Story and one of the most renowned conductors in the world. Last week at the Royal Festival Hall, he conducted his own composition, Songfest, and Elgar's Enigma Variations, both of which, incidentally, were shown live on BBC Two. The result, as one would have expected, was polished, to say the least. But to show how that effect was achieved, a kind of informal masterclass, if you like, we invited Bernstein and the BBC Symphony Orchestra to hold the first of their two rehearsals in the Omnibus studio. And in the course of that rehearsal, I talked briefly to the maestro about the enigma of the variations, the mysterious theme which is said to lurk unstated but implicit in the background of the composition. It's so unstated, in fact, that even the experts can't agree on which theme it is. We begin, however, with the very start of the rehearsal, as Leonard Bernstein became the latest in a distinguished line of people, Toscanini and Bruno Walter among them, to conduct the BBC Symphony Orchestra. He was greeted first and most enthusiastically by the orchestra leader and an old friend from his New York Philharmonic days, Rodney Friend. Great oh, you're like a big speech. Oh, no, oh, no, 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 it's, no, it's no, not on. No, it's no, not on. No, it's on. No, no. Hello. How are you? How do you do? Greetings. You're so far away. I mean, do my usually smell bad or something? I mean, <laughs> <laughs>